what is up you guys it's your girl the real mrs j and i wanted to come on here real quick because the moment we all had been waiting for and that was wax um did i say wax <laughs> dago uh whack 100 came out and had his response to Krishan being arrested so i'm gonna play this video and then i'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments you just don't want me to show up to blues court date so it looked like i'm not supporting him okay mm -hmm. bitch you got warrants in four states including this one but you got it and i told the bitch bitch stop going live bad Is enough you up there? here yeah, they snapped. Man, she got out. no bail warrant Oklahoma, no bail warrant Baltimore, warrant Arizona, and she got assault. You know the, the Braxton little shit. Bitch, and you showing up. They didn't went. I said, stop. You went live at his house. They came over there. You're going live. They got a thing called detectives. Okay. You're going live at the court date. The last, I said, yo, turn the live off. You the guy, I said, you got it. Do what you do. Wow. He was waiting on her. Nigga, as soon as she cleared the little, you know, the little x-ray. Come here. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, we already knew that Wack was telling her to not go live and stuff like that. Because he's spoken on it in the past. Um, but once again, Krishan did not listen. She doesn't listen to anybody. She just doesn't. And, you know, I think we all have been waiting on, you know, his version of things. Because, you know, Wack usually tells everything, you know. Like, sometimes I may catch him. I think he's a little exaggerating. But for the most part, he be on point. But nobody, since y'all don't like him, you know, y'all don't look at, you know, don't like listen to what he's saying. But he would have said in the past that, like, the clout demon got her. So, you know, she would just be on live telling all the business. And just the, the point of the matter is, is that she got comfortable in her situation. And she, whether she said it or not, she just felt like she was invincible. And this wasn't going to happen to her. And so that's why she showed up at court. But let me say something else that has, you know, I've been hearing and it's kind of been rubbing me the wrong way. And that's people saying that she was set up. And just like even Carlissa came on there and was like, whoever called the police on a pregnant woman, I mean, on a woman and a baby is going to hell. So, I mean, why do you guys act like the police can't do their job? Why are y'all acting like the police doesn't? And just like Wax, like Wax said is that um there's a such thing called detectives that's what they do for a living they go out and they find clues and they they listen to videos to find clues they watch the social media all of that you know that's their job that's how they catch people so this whole thing of her being set up like what is wrong with y'all okay and lastly I just have to say this because some one of the one I'm not going to say it's in a subscriber that said it. I don't know if they were just stopping by, but somebody was in my comment section saying that um, it's sad how we always turn each other down when we when we supposed to be building each other up. So, you know, one of the parts of building someone up is by keeping them accountable of holding them accountable of the things that they do wrong so that they can learn from those things and grow from those things and move on to the next level so when y'all I mean we're not supposed to reward bad behavior you guys do know this right now the only victim here the only true victim is Krishan Jr. Because he needs his mother, okay? And and I, he needs his mother and his father. But at this age, he definitely needs his mom's nurturing. So, yeah. We're going to hold her as accountable, whether y'all like it or not. 
But anyway, you guys, y'all tell me what y'all think. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, The Real Mrs. J. And I will see y'all on the next video. Peace.